Ryanair K&N sent us this carbon fiber hood scoop, which is the uh, current ones that they use on the 500 cubic inch Pro Stock cars. And it's really worked out pretty good. It came in very large, but we were able to trim it down and make it fit the hood and the back column window. And we took it back to Kenny Farrell at CFM in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And uh, we followed his instructions, made it a very nice tight fit, as you can see, along, along the whole area around the scoop. So the position and height is what we want, 11 inches from the center of the scoop down to the hood. So that's what we worked with for the NHRA rules. Remember, we wanted a certain amount of height distance between the top of the carburetors and the top of the scoop, so that gets the right amount of air that goes in. And Kenny did a nice job on sealing it up and glassing it in for us. And it worked out really well. Now we've got a very nice piece that's functional with the correct amount of square inch area in the front of the scoop. And I think it's in the right position that it needs to be. It also gives the driver plenty of view. We came along the edge here and made this fit the cowl and it'll be a window link style here. That way it finishes it off nice and, and makes the car a little bit more streamlined. And, and it looks pretty nice this way, I think. Very unique from K&N in the fact that this thing is totally round and functional on the inside and the outside. And the way they've got it designed and made, the square inch area in the front, small square inch area in the front is sufficient enough for a super stock car or a comp eliminator car as well. And the side of this thing is actually streamlined and slipstream quite nicely. It's not a flat side like you see a lot of scoops. This thing is very round and very sculpted very nicely. So we were able to use that and incorporate it into the car. We left a little area along here and once we get the hood zoosed into place and laid out where it needs to be, we'll finish the trim area around, around the cowl here so it's not right up against it. We'll leave a nice eighth inch fit around here and around the windshield because the windshield's not flat, it actually has a round taper. I've got it pretty close, but it'll, there's enough there for a final fit and final finish before it goes out in our auto body. I'm Kenny Farrell, I'm the owner of uh, Carbon Fiber Manufacturing. We're an advanced composites company that produces uh, parts for uh, aviation and motorsports. Uh, the process is not very uh, difficult, but it's kind of tedious. And uh, to start with, we actually have to have a good plug, is what we call it, which is an actual part to reproduce. And we start off with a uh, uh, like a, a hood, an original hood, as, as what you, you guys provided. And then we have to make it nice. Uh, any flaws that are in the uh, uh, part in the plug are uh, uh, gonna show up in the uh, mold, which in return uh, will show up in the uh, new part. So it's best to do uh, all the body work first and uh, on the plug and get it all slick, real nice, and then, uh, then we will uh, take it from there and uh, seal it with an epoxy uh, type sealer, uh, something that's uh, compatible with our mold process. And uh, then we will work on releasing it. And to release it, we use uh, chemicals. Um, it's a probably an eight stage process where we will uh, um, we'll wipe the, the chemicals on, wipe them off, do it about eight times get it to where it's slick enough that the uh, uh, tooling coat that we put on and the uh, uh, tooling uh, composite does not stick to the... Uh, yeah, it was under 10 pounds for the hood and the scoop put together. The scoops that we make are around two and a half pounds for that style of scoop. The heaviest type of scoop that we have is uh, uh, it done in that fashion is about three pounds. Uh, so we've got them down to a real lightweight uh, consistency now and still very strong. We're you know, building them in a monocoque construction uh, form to where by the, by the hood by itself and the scoop by itself are, are not real uh, stiff. Uh, but when you put it together with the, with the hood, with the scoop pan installed inside of it, it makes a real stiff uh, uh, piece that, that will handle the uh, mile per hour. Uh, you can uh, 
see a lot more of our products and examples of things that we've produced in the past, uh, which ranges from commercial products to uh, medical devices to aerospace, motorsports. There's a whole lot of things that we can produce, and we have examples on our website. If you go to it, which is www.compositeshop.com, you can see uh, a lot of our updates as soon as we get new products out. Uh, I put them up on our Facebook page immediately, and uh, that's uh, Carbon Fiber Manufacturing uh, on Facebook. And uh, you can also uh, see me at uh, Kenny Farrell on Facebook and uh, uh, get updates also. Tell the story about getting the thing home. Oh, I had everything I owned <laughs> thrown in the back of that wagon coming home with all my racing parts. I had cams, crankshafts, all kind of stuff. And uh, uh, I left uh, Abilene, Texas to drive home back to South Carolina. And I made it about halfway before it lost oil pressure. And uh, when it lost oil pressure, I was in the gas station getting gas. I cranked it back up and it had zero oil pressure. I said, the light was on. I said, good God, what am I going to do? I'm hanging in the middle of nowhere. I have no oil pressure. Everything I own's in it. I said, well, I'm going to have one. Something, the bypass has got to be stuck in the oil pump. So what I, I decided, I'm going to crank this sucker up. I'm going to mash it wide open. And I'm going to cut it off <laughs> to really show that bypass. So I cranked that sucker up, revved it wide open with no oil pressure, let it come back to idle. And when it come back to idle, light went right out, then to go. Home I went. I actually ended up getting about 75 miles from home and a rod started knocking. <laughs> and my sixth sister actually come and got me with her car and towed me 75 miles on Interstate 85 with a rope. <laughs> <laughs>